everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate quantitative blood loss estimation for your maternity exams. So let's get started. First, let's talk about why we even do these calculations. Well, it helps us detect if our patient may be experiencing postpartum hemorrhage. It gives us an estimated number that we can work with and look at the guidelines that are set to tell us, hey, we need to be monitoring this patient and they may be experiencing hemorrhage. Because it's a lot more reliable than just looking at the blood loss. Like for instance, they have a chucks pad, a peri pad, a surgical towel. We look at it and say, uh, there is a moderate amount of blood here and there because that can be really subjective based on the nurse. Like this nurse may think it's a lot while this other nurse doesn't really think. But here we have a number. Now in 2017, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists updated their guidelines on postpartum hemorrhage. They say that early postpartum hemorrhage is where the patient has a cumulative blood loss of 1,000 milliliters or more or blood loss accompanied by signs or symptoms of hypovolemia within 24 hours following the birth process. And this includes a vaginal and a C-section because before the other criteria would separate those two by either if the patient had a vaginal birth or a C-section. So whenever you're solving these problems, there's some things I want you to remember. First off, how do we even calculate this? Well, one of the ways we can do this blood loss estimation is that we take the item, we know it's dry weight, and then we weigh it. So whatever its wet weight is, is we subtract it from its dry weight. And then you're gonna get that in grams. So what you wanna remember is that one gram equals one milliliter. So sear that in your mind because it'll help everything make sense. Now let's calculate and take a look at our problem. So it says a patient had a vaginal birth. The nurse documents the following. A chucks pad with a wet weight of 610 grams, normally has a dry weight of 400 grams, and a surgical towel with a wet weight of 100 grams, it normally has a dry weight of 60 grams. So what you wanna do is you wanna look, okay, make sure how many items we're dealing with here. We can say we're only dealing with one chucks pad and one surgical towel. That's really important because sometimes people forget to multiply those extra ones and they get their calculation wrong. So this is relatively really easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wet weight of each item and subtract it from its dry weight so first, let's do that. Okay, our chucks pad. I'm gonna put a little arrow here so we know what we're dealing with. Had a wet weight of 610 grams. It had a dry weight of 400 grams. I'm gonna subtract that because that's gonna tell us about how much blood we're dealing with. So 610 minus 400, that gives us 210 grams. That's our chucks pad. Now let's look at our surgical towel. Okay, we're gonna take that wet weight of 100 grams, subtract. 60 grams, and that is going to give us 40 grams. Okay, that is what we're dealing with with our surgical towel. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add these two together, and that's going to give us our estimated blood loss. So 210 grams plus 40 grams gives me 200 and 50 grams. And we remember that one gram equals one milliliter. So this is the same as saying 250 milliliters of estimated blood loss. And patient's okay right now? That falls below that threshold. This problem says a patient is six hours postpartum following a vaginal birth. The nurse documents the following peri pad weights. So here we have the hours, and what we need to do is calculate the estimated blood loss over the six hours during the postpartum period. So here's the times, and then beside of it is the actual weight of the peri pads during that specific hour. And the problem tells us a very important thing you wanna make sure you know is that what the dry weight of the peri pad is because we're gonna take the wet weight and subtract it from the dry weight and that's gonna give us our estimated blood loss. So let's do that, our magic number is 30. So at eight o'clock, the wet weight of that peri pad was 60 grams. We're gonna subtract 30 grams from it. When we subtract 60 from 30, we get 30 grams. At 9.45, it was 65 grams. Subtract 30 from it. That is going to give us 35 grams. 11.10, it was 60 grams. We're gonna subtract 30 grams from it. That's going to give us 30 grams. At 12.30, it was 55 grams. We're gonna subtract 30 grams. That's gonna give us 25 grams. At 1.40, it was 50 grams. We're gonna subtract 30 grams from it. That's going to give us 20 grams. 
and then at 305, it was 50 grams. And we'll do what we did up here, subtract 30 grams, and that's going to give us 20 grams. Okay, so we have all of this estimation. Now what we need to do, because we want to know the total, we're going to add these numbers together. So let's just put a little plus on here, put a line under that. When we add all of this together, we are going to get 160 grams. And we remember from our handy dandy little calculation, little thing to remember over here is one gram equals one milliliter. So 160 grams is 160 milliliters of estimated blood loss. So this falls under that thousand milliliter threshold that we talked about at the beginning of the video, but we still want to keep track of our patient, take into account what they lost during the actual birth, and then as they go on through this postpartum period within that first 24 hours. Our next problem says a patient had a cesarean delivery. The nurse documents the following. So we're told we have a suction canister and in that canister we have a total of 1,050 milliliters. But in a suction canister you're going to have a lot of stuff in there and we need to determine how much of that is blood. So the problem tells us how much of other fluids are in there and we're going to have to calculate how much is estimated to be blood. So amniotic fluid with suction, about 150 milliliters of it, and irrigation fluid with suction, about 350 milliliters. Then our next items, we have four, that four is super important, four laparotomy pads. They have a dry weight of 50 grams each. That each is so important. That changes how you calculate things because we're talking about each of these pads, not all of them together. But we have a total wet weight, when they were weighed, of 450 grams. And then we also have one surgical drape, so just one of those. It has a dry weight of 200 grams and its wet weight is 300 grams. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each item individually, figure it out, and then add it together and get our estimated total. So first let's deal with this suction canister. Okay, our suction canister, we have a total of 1,050 milliliters, but here's our amniotic fluid and our irrigation fluid. So I'm just gonna put right here SC for suction canister so we know what we're talking about. What we wanna do first is let's add the amniotic fluid and the irrigation fluid together. So 150 milliliters plus 350 milliliters. When we add that up, we get 500 milliliters. Okay, that tells us how much of that fluid is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this number and we're gonna subtract, we're gonna subtract these together because that will tell us our estimate of blood loss. So the total in the canister was 1,050 milliliters. And we're gonna subtract 500. And when we subtract that 500, we get 550 milliliters of estimated blood that's in that canister. So that's an important number. I'm gonna underline him so we'll keep track of him. Now let's go to our lap pads. Okay, we have four of those. So I'm gonna say times four for LPs. <laughs> times four. Okay, so they each have a dry weight of 50 grams. We're dealing with four. So 50 times four, that gives me two, oops, that gives me 200 grams. So they have a total dry weight of 200 grams. Now I need to take that and we need to mess with our total wet weight. So our wet weight was 450 grams. So 450 grams minus this dry weight of 200 grams. So 450 minus 200 gives me 250 grams. And we know from our handy dandy little memorization, one gram equals one milliliter. So this is really 250 milliliters of estimated blood loss that's on these lap pads. So I'm gonna go underline that because we're gonna need that number later. Okay, our last thing, we're almost done. We have the surgical drape. Okay, we have one of those. So I had a dry weight of 200 grams, a wet weight of 300 grams. So we're going to, and we'll just put SD for surgical drape so I know what I'm dealing with. So 300 grams minus the 200 grams, that gives me 100 grams. We know that one gram equals one milliliter, so this equals 100 milliliters of estimated blood loss. So we have 
550 from our canister, we have 250 from our lap pads, and we have 100 from our surgical drape. Now what we need to do, we already did all the hard stuff, we just add those numbers together and that is our estimated blood loss. So 550 plus 250 plus 100, when we add all that together, we get 900 milliliters of estimated blood loss. Now that is getting close to that 1000 milliliter threshold that we talked about earlier. So we definitely wanna keep an eye on our patient. Okay, so that wraps up this review. Now, if you're taking maternity nursing, you may wanna check out my newly released study guide on maternity nursing that covers some of the most tested maternity topics you're going to see on exams. You can get digital copies at nursesarah.com or paperback copies like this one on amazon.com.